Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything in my kids, my husband's, and my dog's stockings for this Christmas. I'm also gonna share with you everything in our Christmas Eve box. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in. Feeling jolly? I sure am. I am totally here for all the holiday content. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you like what you see. I love watching these videos from other creators because I always get inspiration and ideas for my own kids. If you don't already know, I have two sons. One is eight, one is six. Um, so a lot of these things I'm gonna share with you are good for you know all ages of children. Um, I'm also gonna share with you what I'm doing for my husband's stocking. Uh, my husband and I do a stocking for each other every year. And I know sometimes that can be like hard to shop for, so I thought I would give you a few ideas there as well. Um, a couple things I did get for the dogs too that I'll just pop in there. Um, and also the Christmas Eve box. Um, we'll probably start there. So let's talk about the Christmas Eve box. So ours is actually a wine crate. Um, and I, this was one of my first videos like five years ago when I made this. If you wanna see a very old, slightly cringy video, I will include it down below. I've made it myself. I like decoupage it and everything. And what we do is we give this box to the kids uh, on the morning of Christmas Eve. Um, I find that it sort of like stretches out some of the gift giving, it builds the anticipation, and we have sort of traditional gifts that we put in there each year. So it's just like a big, a big green wooden crate. Uh, and the first thing that we do every year in there is they each get like a hoodie or a sweater. Um, and this year, you guys, maybe not for this year for you, but to keep in mind for next year, I went to Target and I looked through all of their Halloween stuff and it was like 90% off. And they had these hoodies with skulls on them and they were considered Halloween. Now, I know this might not be everyone's vibe, but my kids will wear skulls all year round. Like that doesn't need to be like a Halloween time thing for us. So I think I paid, I don't know, like two bucks for this. I paid hardly anything and they're matching. They always get a matching like sweatshirt, whatever hoodie. Um, and uh, they specifically wanted like zip up ones this year. So this is something that's in the box every single year, but they had matching ones for each of my boys and it was a great deal. The next traditional gift that is always in the Christmas Eve box is a book. Each child gets a new book. So you may remember if you saw my Ollie's haul that I picked up the first six Goosebumps for my eight-year-old. I'm really excited for him uh, to read these. They were always a favorite when I was young. And then for my six-year-old, I just found this at Sam's Club today, actually. It's called The Big Cheese. Uh, we have other books by this author. We have The Bad Seed. Uh, which Desmond, my young, my youngest, he loves that one. Um, and it's always like some sort of like character building type thing. So like, um, I'm assuming since it's about the big cheese, I bet this is about um, someone who likes to win all the time and who has a big ego. I think that's probably what this one is about. But uh, the author is great. Uh, Jory John and Pete Oswald. Uh, their books are fantastic for uh, for little ones. Next, I always give each boy an ornament in the Christmas Eve box. I picked these up in the clearance bin from Target last year. I paid 10 cents for each of them. So one gets an apple, one gets an orange. Next in the Christmas Eve box, I like to get the kids a game. This year I grabbed Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, because it was on, I think it was like one of the Amazon Prime days, it was on sale for 20 bucks, and I thought that was a good deal. They always want more Switch games, so I grabbed that. And the last traditional gift, always in the Christmas Eve box, is a pair of pajamas. Now the boys were very specific this year, they were like, listen, we're gonna need like a full bodysuit situation with a hood. I was like, okay, okay, and they got a match. So actually, shout out to my friend Rachel who was like, girl, you gotta look at Children's Place online. So I did, and they had a bunch of really cute options. I picked this black and white buffalo plaid, and it's like a whole one piece situation. And of course, I got them for both of the boys. So this is the jammies for this year. I know they're gonna be so excited. They're gonna wanna wear them immediately upon opening this. But these were really reasonably priced. There was a good sale going on the um, the Children's Place website. I think they were like $12 a piece. So it was a decent deal to get the, the whole full body thing going on here. In addition to those things, um, I will also put lots of candy in the Christmas Eve box, but I will disperse the candy that I got between the Christmas Eve box and the stockings. So I'll like bring all the candy out when I go through the stockings. Speaking of stockings, it's time to get into those, but before we do, 
I do want to remind you that if you are looking for a gift for someone in your life, maybe it's a stocking stuff or maybe not, remember that I have come out with these wonderful recipe journals. There is space for 120 recipes uh, inside here that you can fill out yourself, whether you're doing holiday recipes, family recipes, recipes you invent yourself. Uh, of course, I just I gotta throw a little plug uh, in here for these. So if you want one, links down below, available now on Amazon, designed by me. All right, continue. Continuing on to the stockings. All right, let's just dive right into the candy because there is a ton of it this year. The first thing I picked up are these little uh, mini chocolate Santas and these are from Aldi. Aldi has like great German chocolate this time of year. Next, I picked up these gummy spooky noodles. Technically these were a Halloween candy and I got them for like 75% off at Walgreens, I think. Uh, so they were super cheap. Um, but again, I think spooky gummy noodles can be enjoyed any time of year. They don't have to be at Halloween. So I picked up one of those for each of the boys. Next in the way of candy canes, these will definitely be dispersed between the Christmas Eve box, the stockings, and probably some in my husband's and my stocking as well, because I like to hang them on the outside. Uh, we've got Nerds uh, flavored candy canes this year and our classic peppermint. We always have these left over. I feel like no one ever eats them, but like, I can't help it. You can't have a stocking without a candy cane hanging out. Like, it's, it's just part of the tradition. I, it can't be helped. All right, next, I got each of the kids a Kinder Joy egg. They love a Kinder egg. Classic gift. These, I think, will definitely go in the stocking. I also picked up these Oscar Mayer gummy hot dogs because they just looked really funny. Uh, so I think that they'll appreciate those as well. My husband actually picked these up the other day. He saw them and he thought that they were cute. These are giant candy canes because Lord knows we need more candy canes. Um, but they're warheads and my kids are obsessed with warheads right now. They are like really into like warhead challenges and seeing like how long one can keep one in their mouth and all this stuff. So warheads are all the craze. So I guess it was a good find. Next, my oldest loves a York peppermint patty. Those are his like favorite candies. So I got a whole one of these packs and they're, they're star shapes. So cute. I'll throw some in the Christmas Eve box, some in their stockings. Along with that, I also got a bag of Hershey Kisses. Again, those will go in the stockings and the Christmas Eve box. But these are the, um, the peppermint striped ones. They're so cute. And also if you're into making those like cookies with the kiss in the middle, these look darling. They're so Christmassy and stripy. So that's, you know, that's a thought for you. Next, I picked up this bag of Heath bars. I wouldn't normally like grab Heath. However, this was also that day at Walgreens when all of their Halloween candy was like crazy discounted. So these are technically a bag of Halloween candy, but they're not shaped like anything. They're just regular Heath bars inside. So like, it seemed fine. I mean, I'm here for a good deal, you guys. And the last food item for the stockings and the Christmas Eve box, obviously, Reese's Trees. We talk about this every year, I'm sure, that the Reese's shapes are top tier Reese's. No other Reese's is as good as the shapes. I don't care what shape it is. It could be the egg, the stocking, the tree, the pumpkin, the chocolate to peanut butter ratio is the best when they're the shapes. So my only goal for here, honestly, is that I do not open this and eat this all by the time Christmas rolls around. I gotta like put it in a bag and like put it way up in the closet so I don't remember it's there because these are my favorite. <laughs> All right, let's get into the little like non-food bits. There isn't a ton in there uh, just because we're real heavy on the candy uh, <laughs> for the stocking. Like that's just like our vibe in our house. But I did find some cool things for the boys. Uh, first of all, I got these great little bracelets that are like the solar system. I, I'm trying to remember where I got these because I got them a really long time ago and they've been like sitting in like my gift bin in the closet. I want to say I got them on Amazon, maybe like on the Prime Day or something, uh, but I thought they were really cute. My kids love a bit of jewelry, but my kids especially love science and all things planet. Next, I got them each a little Funko Pop. This is like the biggest thing in the stocking because um, even though there's like lots of bits, I don't like to get anything like super expensive for the stocking. I got these at five below and they were like four bucks a piece. Um, my youngest, he is here for, for a group moment. My oldest um, is getting uh, Darth Vader. Next, in the stockings, I got them each a can of hair dye. This is just temporary like spray 
and they always want to dye their hair but they're never like wanting to commit to something my youngest he did have blue hair for a little while um and i thought this would be the perfect thing to just like make a like a little colored mohawk or whatever my youngest his favorite color is purple my oldest favorite color is orange, but they didn't have orange, and so I picked green. This is the second favorite color. Anyway, I thought for $3.50, I picked these up at Five Below. Any kid that's interested in expressing themselves in any way, a little can of hair dye, they're gonna have a ball with this. Oh, I guess there is another food item for them. I got them these little teeny tiny jars of Nutella. They had these at Easter too, and I got them each one in their Easter basket last year. And you know, I don't know about you, I love a tiny thing. And I think my kids do too. I think all kids love a tiny cute thing. Like my husband, he will collect like a tiny jam or like a tiny bottle of Tabasco sauce. If he sees a tiny thing, he's gotta get it. And my kids are the same way. And they were so excited at Easter over those tiny Nutella jars that when I saw these, I had to do it. They each get a tiny Nutella. Next, I found these at Walmart, exploding coal. They're like those little popper things that you do on the 4th of July. I thought that was so funny because this past year they did have those on the 4th of July and they loved them. It was like their first year doing it. Um, so I got them exploding coal. You know, just a little bit of TNT for Christmas. Why not? Next, I picked these up at the Target dollar spot. They're just like, I think probably pencil cases, but they say Twizzlers on them. And these were with the Halloween stuff. So these were hugely discounted. I paid like a quarter for them. And I just thought I would fill them with candy. Maybe I'll fill them with Twizzlers. I don't know. Um, but my kids love a container. They love a little thing to fill with other little things. All right, next, also from the Target Dollar Spot, I picked this up today and I feel like I'm already regretting it. I got them each these wooden recorders. I know they're gonna drive me crazy, but I just, I couldn't help it, especially because my oldest Fox, he got like a keyboard for his birthday and he's like really into music right now and like playing all sorts of stuff. And while it will be horrible to listen to, Having one smash on the keyboard and one on the recorder, I mean, it's gonna be tons of fun. They're gonna love it. Also from the Target Dollar Spot today, I got them each these cute little mittens with these matching hats. Again, this is more of a practical thing and not like a super fun thing, but you know, I live in Michigan. It's cold here. We have tons of hats because they leave them at school all the time. So for only a couple bucks, I thought this was a cute thing to, you know, add into the mix. Okay, that is all I have for the boys for their stockings. Next up, we'll do my husband's stocking and then last we'll finish off with what I got the dogs. All right, so for my husband, we kind of have a deal that we like try not to spend like a crazy amount of money on the stockings just because everyone is stretched so tight this time of year and I would rather get, I don't know, something bigger for the family or a more personal special gift like under the tree and not in the stocking, if that makes sense. So we kind of try to keep it pretty simple, but these are all things I know he'll love. First off, I got him some meat sticks. These are just um, Jack Link's original jerky sticks. He loves a bit of meat. Next, I got him this huge bag, uh, 1.68 pounds of the Albanese uh, gummy bears. This is his favorite brand. And I picked these up at Ollie's. You may have seen in that same haul. It was a really good deal and these are his favorite. Next, when I was at Five Below picking up some of this other stuff, they had this really cute little Dungeons and Dragons. It's a plus one cherry potion candy. So it was like $3, which was a terrible deal for probably the tiny amount of candy in there. But the novelty of it is what is exciting because I do have a D&D &D kind of husband and he will think this is really cool. So next, uh, we actually, my husband and I went to Five Below together to get this stuff. And they had like a display that had Kit Kat, like churro flavored Kit Kats. And then he was like, oh my God, I want to try one. Then he went to get one and they were all just regular Kit Kats. So then the next day I went to the other Five Below in our city and they had them. That's when I got um, the D&D &D thing too. So I got a churro Kit Kat. Um, it just because he was so excited that day and then they didn't have any and I was like, mm. I'm gonna find you one. I'm gonna find you one, I'm gonna put it in your stocking. So I got him a churro Kit Kat. And speaking of chocolate, I also got him this Ghirardelli bar. It was like two bucks, not an expensive thing, but he loves caramel um, and I don't. I'm like not a caramel fan. So anytime we like buy treats for the house, it's never caramel. So I thought since it's his stocking, he should get a little bit of, a little bit of good caramel. You know what I mean? Next, I got something that's kind of weird, but I stopped in at World Market and I got this box of potato dumplings. This is also lovingly called Kartoffelknudel. Uh, and if you follow me, you know that my husband and I love to travel 
and especially me in Germany. I've been to Germany a lot, a lot of times, and um, it's a whole long story, but uh, Gianni and I went to Berlin. He got to go there for the first time like two years ago, and it was really an incredible experience, and he fell in love with the potato dumpling, the kartoffel knudel. So I went to a uh, world market, which has really incredible gifts and stocking stuffers for everyone in your life. If you're really struggling to fill a stocking, go to world market. Um, so I got him these. I know he'll be so excited. Um, it also means I'm gonna have to like cook them and maybe make like a schnitzel dinner, but like I'm down for that. He'll love it. And the last thing I got for him, this is actually from a local place. I got this at my local farmer's market. Uh, from Sandy Ridge Farm here in Michigan. Uh, this is uh, maple mustard. 100% maple syrup. It's like a maple syrup farm. Um, and they make all sorts of weird stuff. Paprika, turmeric, mustard seeds, salt. It sounds really cool. And maple syrup. It sounds like something my husband will love. All right, you guys, to wrap it up, let me show you what I got the dogs. Um, if you watched my uh, Ollie's haul, then you'll know that some of these things are from Ollie's and I showed you them already. Um, we got some soft chew treats, pork recipe, that'll go in, in one dog stocking. In the other dog stocking, we will throw in some dingo munchie sticks. You know, pinnacle of health, I'm sure. In the way of toys, I got this little thing at Ollie's. Again, it was like four bucks. Ollie's has a really, like, a ton of dog toys, like, for really inexpensive. If you're looking for that, uh, that's a good place to pop in if you have one. Also, this is from Ollie's. This will go in the other dog sagging. We have two dogs. Um, and this was five bucks. And it, like, doesn't have any stuffing, so they can't mess it up. And other than those things, I also picked up two other things that you did not see if you watched the Ollie's haul. And this was that day I was at Target and all that Halloween stuff was crazy discounted. They had Halloween dog toys that were like a dollar. They were so cheap. And this one is all like crinkly, you know, and it's got the rope bits. This does, no, no. Ooh, I squeaked it. I'm sorry. I tried so hard not to. Sunday, no. She's trying to get it already. I knew this was gonna happen. This happened at the Ollie's haul video too. I'm sure all of you just saw that coming. Okay. I'll... <laughs> She's like right here staring at me. No. Um, this is the other thing I got at Target. <laughs> Squeak me. I'm not going to do that, but it's okay. Uh, so, toys. And other than that, the dogs still have some toys that I wrap under the tree because they like to open toys. And I usually reserve like the really good squeaky toys for that um, experience, because it's so fun watching a dog open <laughs> a present. Uh, that is one of my highlights of Christmas morning, is my dogs being excited over toys. <laughs> all right, you guys, and there you have it. That's all the stuff for all the stockings besides mine, but I'm sure my husband will come up with great ideas that I give him. Leave me your comments down below. Is this what your kids' stockings look like? I know it's like all over the place. Some people just do like tons of candy. Some people do like big presents in the stockings. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. They get a few like things to play with, but a lot of, you know, candy and stuff. And the Christmas Eve box is a tradition that they really look forward to every year. Um, so maybe if you don't do something like that, it's not too late to start. I know like most kids would be so excited to have something a little, you know, extra for Christmas eve morning of course come on back for more content like this because all of my content from now till the end of the year is going to be holiday related uh so make sure you stick around and i'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching bye